Hi family, this is your girl Aqua Goddess coming to give you all a general reading. This reading will be for all Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. The timestamps for each individual reading will be incorporated below. Keep in mind that I do have uh, private readings, but this reading will be general, so it may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in booking a personal session with me, you want to purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, or if you would just like to donate to the channel, that information will be incorporated in the description box below. Also guys, a few more announcements. I do have our second channel open, Troy's Mermaid Palace LLC. So you all are able to go and visit that page and check out some of the general readings. I will also be opening up that channel for you all to post questions and things that you may want to learn about so that I can have a random selection and pick some topics and discuss them during some of our readings. So our Aqua Mermaid Goddess Camp Session will be held at least twice weekly on this channel, Mermaid Palace Tarot. And this will just be for me to pretty much... Um, ask some specific some more specific questions in regards to um you know things that you may need to know as far as more specific instead of a general broad of questions if that makes sense so it's just for me to review more specific questions and answers with spirit on your behalf to communicate with you and I'll be opening up that where I will just be categorizing you all between earth, air, water, and fire. But you will also be receiving your zodiac signs on this channel, so um, no worries as far as that's concerned. I did add the link for the other channel in the description box and on the community page, so make sure you guys check that out. And I do definitely want to thank you all for so many birthday wishes for my grandmother. So thank you so much for the love and support there. I truly appreciate you all. So we are going to start out with Virgo. <clears throat> um, I've already prayed and meditated over your energy. So we're just going to go ahead and tap right in. Spirit angels, ancestors, guys, please protect me while channeling the messages for the sign of Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Please return all negative energy back to sender to million fold. And anybody out there showing me love, much love and light to you. So Spirit, can you tell me who Virgo is currently dealing with or who is in Virgo's energy at this time? Somebody that's making you very excited. This person's happy to be around you, and I feel like the energy is mutual. Um, this is someone that is authentic, and you are down to earth with this person, so you're able to be yourself, whether that be silly, serious, whatever the case may be. So I like this energy for you, Virgo. You guys are having some very exciting times. Some of you all live in a very warm area, a warm place, and I see you outside having a good time. Somebody definitely could be hiding something, though, to be completely honest with you. Spirit, tell me more. Oh, this not, they were just hiding that they liked you. This person was shy. So they may have actually liked you long before they admitted that they like you. Um, they came forward, apparently, and you guys are having a good time getting to know each other. I'm seeing that this person doesn't like to play games. They they want a commitment and they're very emotionally available. They know how to treat you and this is the reason why you got this big old smile on your face. Okay. Spirit, can you give me information on what Virgo can do? to keep this connection strong. What is it that Virgo can do to keep this love connection strong?
Okay. Um, so Spirit is saying that um, you can definitely keep things in a peaceful space. I'm picking up the energy that this is a person that's not very not not very confrontational. Um, absolutely closing out any old chapters that you may have um, with anybody toxic or anything of that sort. And, and moving forward with confidence. You know, moving forward with confidence. Also, dressing really nicely. This person pays attention to that type of stuff. Not that they would not like you if you didn't, but I see that this person, they like the way that you dress or they pay attention to that type of detail. Okay. How would Virgo know if this current person is marriage material? How would Virgo know if this current person is marriage material? So you're going to know... Like, if this person is lazy and they're not reliable and they're stubborn and you always feel stuck and confused, they are not marriage material. But if they are the absolute opposite where you can rely on them, you guys have a good time together, they're not lazy, they actually help you balance things out, you're able to have mature conversations, and that's how you're going to know that this person is marriage material. What is the best way for Virgo to communicate with this partner? What is their communication style? What is the best way for Virgo to communicate with this partner? Definitely communicate um, honestly. This person will be completely turned off if you are afraid to be authentic or be honest. So definitely reveal truth first and foremost to this person. They respect an honest person, whether this is something that's going to worry them or not. This is someone that likes a leader. So they like someone with a very powerful presence, someone that's protective, but also someone that's very honest. Okay. So for the single Virgos... How can the single Virgos find their true love? How can the single Virgos find their true love? Okay. So for the single Virgos, Spirit is telling me that you can find your true love by releasing any type of pain, forgiving anyone that's harmed you, even if you don't allow them back in your energy, just releasing that energy. Also by not having any type of negative self-talk or anything of that sort. By being optimistic and accepting your past for what it is, the past. Also, making sure that you're dressing nice and being charming. Uh, definitely be confident. So whoever it is that you're attracting or your true, your actual true love, they like a little bit of fiery energy. So it could be an Aries Leo Sag. This person wants you to tell them exactly what you want. They want you to be an action-oriented person. Be daring. Be confident. So that is how you will attract your true love if that is what you're looking for. Spirit, is there any advice for the single Virgos that do not want a relationship right now? Is there any advice for the single Virgos that do not want a relationship right now? Any advice for the single Virgos that do not want a relationship right now? Spirit is just saying, if you don't want a relationship right now, that's fine. Just spend this time healing and moving forward and transitioning and changing 
you know, developing and growing. You're not required to be in a connection if that's not something that you want. You can spend more time healing and developing yourself. Okay. <clears throat> okay. This is going to be kind of a different question, Virgo, but I'm wanting to know if you have a best friend of the opposite sex, is this best friend your true love? Is this best friend Virgo's one and only true love? Is Virgo's best friend their one and only true love? No, it's not. Your best friend is not your one and only true love, if that's something that you're interested in knowing. Um, no. Okay? <laughs> um, for the single Virgos that want to attract other spirit, what can the single Virgos do to attract others? Make a lot of money. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. Spirit is just saying, matter of fact, honestly, um, manifest. So, you know, have a vision on what it is that you want. Act like you already have what it is that you want. And you'll vibrate on the frequency to attract what it is that you actually want. Also, making sure that you're stable, you know, making sure that you definitely are working on yourself consistently and that you're stable. Mm. Let's see. For the singles that uh, are are the singles that are wanting to attract new love spirit, are they on the right path? Are the singles that want to attract new love on the right path? Page of Cups Reverse, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Okay. So Spirit is saying you are on the right path. Yes, you're definitely on the right path if you're wanting to attract new love. Um, definitely, I see... You know, you're being generous to people. You're balancing things out. You're inspiring other individuals. You're growing. Um, you're enthusiastic. I see you having a breakthrough. So you're definitely moving in the right direction if that's something that you want to attract. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. So for the Virgos that are in no contact right now with their partner. How does their partner feel at this time? How does their partner feel? They feel scattered at this time. Um, I'm definitely saying that someone wants to compromise with you, but they don't want any conflict. Okay, Spirit, tell me, um, hmm, what is the root cause of their issue with their person? Why is there no contact? What is the root cause of the issue? No communication. So there's a communication issue. There could be a situation where somebody feels not heard or they're not able to express themselves or they're being interrupted every time they're expressing themselves. Or, you know, there could be a defense mechanism thing going on or ego trips. Either way, it is an issue with communication and there hasn't been any action. Some of you could feel like it's just bad, bad timing. Okay. Okay. 
Does this person love Virgo? Does this person in no contact love Virgo? Oops, too many cards, spirit. Yes, they do, though. They do. You have the Justice card. So, yes, this person definitely loves you. They want to get things in harmony. They definitely want to speak some truth. They know that there's some issues that you all need to work on to change the dynamic of things. But they definitely want to come towards you with some type of truth and handle things with integrity. This person really, truly does love you. Okay. Hmm. For you guys, somebody asked me this question. Um, will their ex, will this person leave their, their person for them or some shit like that? Um, will they leave their ex for you or some shit like that? Spirit, for the people that want to know that, um, will this person leave their ex or will this person leave them for them? Spirit, what is the answer to that question? No, they will not. So if if somebody's been telling you that they were going to leave you for somebody else, that is not true. Okay. For you all that don't know for sure if your ex or your partner that you're in no contact with is in a relationship, Spirit... Is their person in a relationship? Is this person that's in no contact in another relationship? No, they actually are not. They could have been in a connection with somebody, but they definitely walked away. There's a sense of just letting this person go and abandon them. They could have even did a no call, no show. Because they felt like that person was manipulative. So they could have tried to replace you or kick it with somebody else. And it did not work out for them. Okay. Um, Spirit, let's talk about career. Okay. So what is the current energy for Virgo's career? energy for Virgo's career. Wow, you got four cards. I'm going to take them. All right, so you got the Nine of Pentacles reverse, Temperance reverse, Nine of Cups reverse, Two of Wands upright. Okay. Um, so I'm feeling like at your current job, you're starting to feel like it's not the path that you want to go on you're planning to progress or do something you could be trying to open up a new business or just partner up with someone to gain your own freedom from that place i don't see that it makes you very happy honestly i feel like you're hustling a lot but you may feel like it's not paying off or you're not making enough money or it's taking you too long to make money I'm definitely seeing that um, you're dealing with some conflict at your job or just some instability, some frustrations. Um, you could be doing things out of character because you're over it. I see that here. Um, I see that you are definitely working on making some decisions when it comes to your current work energy, your current career energy. If you are searching for a new job, um, let's see. Spirit, if Virgo is searching for a new job, what would be the obstacles that they would need to get over? So, Virgo searching for a new job. What do they need to overcome to be successful? Okay. So, def action. Action. 
you know, are letting go of something old to move on to something else. Of course, transitioning accordingly, but definitely uh, maybe traveling. Some of you all may find the opportunity in a different state or something of that sort. Um, let's see. Spirit, can you tell me about the people that are having, the Virgos that are having issues at work, how can they overcome their issues at their job? If you want to stay at your job, how can they overcome their issues at the job? By using all your tools and resources. Um, you know, by standing in your power, inspiring others, being confident and creative. Also, definitely maintaining um, your own personal energy to balance things out. Making sure that you're investing funds accordingly. All right. So those are the messages that I have for you, Virgo. So that is 21, 20, let's say 21, 30. All right. So now we're going to do Taurus. All right. Spirit, tell me who Taurus is dealing with at this time. Who is Taurus dealing with at this time? Some of you all are dealing with your baby mama or your baby daddy. It's it's no in between. It's either you are completely are or you're not. Tell me more about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel that the person that you are dealing with, or this could be you, put yourself wherever you may fit if this is your story. But I'm definitely feeling like you're feeling like the person that you're dealing with is obsessed with a status. So this could be just having a title, being obsessed with that. Um, you could also feel like this person is clingy. Um, like they kind of suffocate your energy or it's like they don't spend enough time with self. They're always wanting to be up under you or just obsessed with being in your presence, like in a unrealistic type of way. You could definitely feel like this person procrastinates when it comes to certain things they don't take risk when it comes to certain things and it's just keeping things kind of at a stagnation. You could be wanting to move to a calmer space with this individual or away from this person, take it how it resonates. Okay. Um, Spirit, tell me more about... Hmm. For the Tauruses that are in no contact at this time, how does their partner feel? For the Tauruses that are in no contact right now, how does their partner feel? They feel like at some point they thought that this was a spiritual connection and they wanted to put effort into it. But they're feeling like they no longer want to put any effort into it. And that they just want to manifest a new connection where there will be better communication, more mature energy, um, and you all will be allowed to have your space without feeling suffocated. I'm definitely feeling like this connection, you guys are not on the same level, um, mentally, spiritually, none of that. Like It's different frequencies here. I think that you may be dealing with the person that's more like a thinker. So you could feel like this person overthinks things or they question when things aren't even like when it's not even a problem or whatever the case may be. Okay. Um, so let's see. Spirit, tell me how Taurus would know if this new person... Um, Oh, some of you guys are dealing with a new person, Taurus. So tell me how, um, how would Taurus know if you guys are currently in a relationship? 
How would Taurus know if this person is marriage material? How would Taurus know if this person is marriage material? There's a sense of no communication or stubbornness. Like the cars don't even want to come out. So definitely a communication barrier here with you all. Um, so you would know if this is marriage material, if this person is intuitive, if they're compassionate, um, if they're caring, stable and kind. Um, also embodying a sensitive energy here. This person could be very motherly even if they don't have children. But stability too. So that's how you would know if this person is marriage material. What is the best way to communicate? What is the best way for tourists to communicate with their partner? Some of you all are dealing with a cancer. Pisces or Scorpio, but cancer is the strongest. What is the best way for tourists to communicate with their partner? To slow down on the sex and actually hear each other out. Um, to inspire one another. You know, create together. To have a breakthrough as far as communication is concerned. Be open to expressing each other so that you can have a breakthrough and get to a growing point in the connection. Okay. For tourist singles, what does the tourist single need to do to find true love? Manifest. So live in the energy stay in an energy of high vibration think about what it is exactly that you want and imagine that you already have it live your life like you already have it and it'll just come right to you lover's card here yeah some of you guys are manifesting your true love already currently okay so um for Tauruses, if you have a best friend that's the opposite sex or a best friend that you're attracted to, they can be the same sex if that's what you like. Is Taurus's best friend their true love? If, is Taurus's best friend their true love? Wow. <laughs> So what I would definitely say about this is that you guys do balance each other out. You could feel like they're a good influence on you or you could be a good influence on them. You're able to easily find solutions and like, um, you know, get along very well. But there's definitely some negative thoughts around that. Maybe some overthinking around that. Um yeah i think that it could work but then the thinking part like the overthinking part might it might put somebody in an uncomfortable situation and honestly somebody could feel hopeless so it could be too much i would say no you guys are probably better off friends okay um so spirit tell me more about What does Taurus need to do? Um, does the person the Taurus is currently dealing with, do they love them? Does the person that's on Taurus mind, does that person love Taurus? Yes, they do. Ace of Cups. And you got the Nine of Pentacles. So they definitely love you. Um, you know, it could be overwhelming because it's new. Um, you know, and it, I feel strongly that the communication just needs to be more up to par. 
I definitely see that they really care about you. They see you as someone that cares about yourself, too. Um, they see you as someone that's independent. You could like to dress really nicely or just like to take care of your things. You like to live a comfortable life and this person sees that about you. They love that about you. So it's definitely a yes. A double yes. Okay. Um, if Taurus... Let me see. If the person that's on Taurus's mind is in a committed relationship... Will they leave Taurus? I mean, will they leave this person for Taurus? No. So if somebody's already in a connection, you feel like they're already in a connection, or you know they're already in a connection, and they act and you ask them, you know, if they were going to end that, the answer is no. So please do not victimize yourself. Remove yourself from that situation if that's not something that you're interested in. Okay. Let's talk about career. So, Spirit, tell me the current energy for Taurus's career. What is the current energy for Taurus's career? Angel number 3131. Current energy for your career is Eight of Wands reverse. So you can feel like there's no movement. Or you're just needing to make a move and you haven't made a move yet. Um, you could be resisting change in your current situation but wanting to do something else. Um, so let's see. If you're searching for a job, what's an obstacle that would be in Taurus's way if they're searching for a job? You have to find peace um, and you have to move on. You have to heal yourself and accept things for what they truly are. Okay. Spirit. How does Taurus maintain their true love? How does Taurus maintain a connection with their true love? Stop being so cold. And I don't I don't know if this is you or your person, but there's a feeling of a dis, a dismissive energy. Um, where it's like a cold-hearted, careless type of energy, which can definitely be dangerous, especially if you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a fire sign, um, because it's like they are communicators, they're action takers. And so if there's a sense of aloofness or carelessness or just being cold, then that would definitely push away a true love. You got the Queen of Swords in reverse. That's going to turn somebody into like bitchy, bitchy energy. Okay. Spirit, give me a couple more messages to wrap this up for Taurus. Hierophant. Yes, you got your card. So I see that um, some of you all could be dealing with speech, uh, spiritual leaders or spiritual advisors or teachers or whatever the case may be. I'm seeing that you're very traditional, um, so you could come off as um, very compassionate and forgiving, but there's definitely an issue with communication here. Okay, so those are the messages that I have for you, Taurus. So we're at, what, 34, 33. All right, let's move to Capricorn. So Spirit, what are the messages that Capricorn needs to know right now? What is Capricorn's current love situation? What is Capricorn's current love situation? Devil, your own card leading the 
leading the reading here. So this current situation, um, it could be kind of toxic, to be honest. Um, I'm definitely picking up the energy of someone feeling trapped or very attached to someone in a negative kind of way. Um, I think that there has definitely been situations where there's been a lot of controversy or just a lot of violence, uh, whether it be emotionally, physically, mentally, whatever the case may be. A lot of materialistic energy here coming out to lead the actual reading. So, Spirit, tell me what Capricorn can do to improve the situation if this is something that they are interested in. How can Capricorn improve the situation here? In their current love life. Four cups reverse. Oh wow. Spirit is telling you to detach. Take action and move forward. Okay. So for some of you all. It's time for you to really just end that cycle. Um, to be completely transparent with you. Okay. Um, Spirit, how will Capricorn know how to communicate with their true love if they're single? For Leo, I'm sorry, not Leo. So some of you guys are dealing with Leos. That was random. Um, so can, tell me how Capricorn can attract their true love, Spirit. By making sure you're communicating, not holding back, not saying you got to tell somebody your whole life story or nothing, but oh, spirit is saying by not being selfish, being honest, not operating out of pride and ego, surrendering, um, you know, surrendering the need to be right or whatever the case may be will how will be how you will attract your new love if that's something that you're interested in. Okay, if you're single and you haven't really gotten out there in the dating world, how can uh Capricorn attract somebody that they really want? How can Capricorn attract someone that they really want? By taking care of yourself, you know, um, just giving yourself a lot of self-love and self-care and satisfaction, you know, by balancing out your energy. This is how you're manifesting and attracting what it is that you want, making sure that your life is comfortable. So not moping if you're going through something, of course, take your time to heal, but using this time to really redefine what it is to live you know enjoying the finer things in life taking yourself out fixing up your house rearranging things whatever the case may be also by healing your inner childhood and by being very playful and carefree sometimes um, that is how you will attract the person that you really desire Okay, for those that are wanting to get back with the past lover, Spirit, tell me what they need to do um, in order to heal the situation or to reconcile. Trust your intuition. Um, you know, don't withdraw from your feelings. But I'm showing that this is not, I don't like this past person, okay? But honestly, like if that's what you want, I can't judge it. You would just have to be more understanding that this person is very prideful and egotistic. Spirit is saying that that is not going to make you happy if that is something that you're desiring to do. Okay. For the Capricorns that are in no contact with their partner right now, 
How does their partner feel about this no contact? How does, Capric how does Capricorn's partner feel about no contact? They feel distracted and depressed. Um, they definitely feel like they're redirecting their energy to a more spiritual path or a spiritual way of thinking or a more mature way of going about things. What is the root cause of the no contact? What is the root cause of the no contact for Capricorn? Too much of a bird and ten of wands energy. It seemed like too much hard work. You know, one person was overextending and struggling to try to keep things together. And there was a lack of reciprocity. So this was definitely the root cause. Um, for you guys that want to know if your ex is in another relationship. Okay, spirit, tell me. For Capricorn, is their ex currently in another relationship? No, they are not. They're very heartbroken. They're grieving right now. Um, they're very lonely. And I will tell you that this person is experiencing some chaos, especially when it comes to their stability. You know, this person could be somebody who likes money a lot. I mean, you know, like in a materialistic type of way. And things have just really been shaken up. They feel like it's an extremely painful loss. And they don't, they, they feel like you're their soulmate. You balance them out. And since things have been off, it's an imbalance. But I got a feeling that this is the person that was not extending enough. So, of course, they might feel like you balance them out. Okay. Let's talk about career for Capricorn Spirit. What is going on? Uh, what does Capricorn need to do to live in their fullest potential? Don't procrastinate um, and make sure you take action and move forward. Don't keep yourself attached to anything that you don't desire or want for long term. Just end that shit. Don't procrastinate. Don't have doubt within yourself. And if you feel like you're depressed or something, try to find things to make yourself happy so that you don't vibrate in that energy. All right. So those are the messages that I have for you all, my loves. If you like this reading or if it resonates with you, hit the like button and also subscribe. Make sure you guys check out the community page for the updated announcements. And I will talk to you soon. Peace.